the council candidates please come up. Regarding the um, voters' guide, we did not include pros and cons for the charter amendments because the county was putting together a brochure. And as I said before, the, there are copies of the brochure in the ante room, and it's going to be sent mailed out to all the residents. Okay, we're going to follow the ballot order. We we'll begin with the two-minute statements. So we we'll begin with the chief. Uh, good evening. Thank you to the new women voters for holding this event. I'm Pete Sheen. I've lived and worked here since 1986 after serving in the Air Force and going back to school during a PhD in physics at UCLA. I've had a satisfying career in X Division at the lab, retiring this April. I'm still a guest scientist, but I'm happy to have more time to devote to my family and community. I've, I've been active in community affairs, such as serving on the Planning and Zoning Commission since 2008. I think I've shown the judgment, patience, stamina, and good humor necessary to make a good county councilor for this town. When I ask people what they think about their county government, they tell me they're concerned about the aggressive and some say extravagant spending being done by the county. At the same time, they want the county to go ahead with needed investments in education, infrastructure, and economic development. Things that will help make our town more inviting to everyone. From single people, to families with children, to retired people. I've been all of those things in my time here. I think I can help find a balance between these concerns. I'm ready to take the time to look carefully at every detail of what we spend and give credit, put everything on the table, give credit where we're doing things well, such as Atomic City Transit, and fix the things we're not doing so well, such as getting way too far into final design of the building projects before we ask the contractor what those things are going to cost. It always seems it's more than we had estimated. People are in pretty good agreement about priorities public safety, infrastructure, education, and economic development, followed by improving our recreational amenities. If we focus on communication, prioritization, and fiscal responsibility, we will be able to afford all the important things for our community. Thank you. Hello. My name is Michael Redondo. First, I'd like to uh, thank the League of Women Voters and uh, all of you for uh, coming. Um, I grew up in this community. I moved here at the age of three in 1983. Um, this is my home, and I really want to make sure that um, it's a community that thrives and, and prospers. Um, I did leave the community several times. I left to earn my uh, bachelor's degrees. Um, also to spend time serving as a volunteer in the Peace Corps in the Environmental Conservation Program in the Republic of Panama. Um, and most recently, to earn my master's degree in community and regional planning. I think my planning degree is something that I can most particularly use to help this community. Um, one of the things that I think most important to me is the ability for young people like myself to be able to uh, come back to town and earn a living, um, and not necessarily work in the lab. This is something that I've tried to do. I've found it fairly difficult. I'm managing to do it, but it's not easy. Um, I also want this place to be a community where people like myself want to stay. People who grew up here often leave, and they very seldom come back. Um, and I think that's a shame, because you know, we're, we're losing an important part of our community. Um, and I really think that we need to work to make this the sort of place where people like that can stay um, and want to stay. And I think one of the things that I can do um, is leverage my planning degree, leverage my knowledge of, of planning to help us update our, our zoning codes, in particular um, 
They were written in 1968 and, and haven't really been updated substantially since then. Um, and that's something that I would really like to, to push um, is elected to the council so that we can uh, make this a, a community for everyone, um, not just uh, a select few. Thank you. My name is Kristen Henderson, and I am running for one of the three seats on county council. We have lived here nine years. My husband works at the lab, and I have two girls in elementary school that were both born here. Um, I have a law degree from UCLA, and I have both practiced law, and I have also worked in a lot of um, software startups. Currently here, for the last seven years, I have been an agent at Remax, which I think is a great background because I know all of our neighborhoods and I know a lot of our housing issues, of which they're plentiful. Um, but one of the most important things I have done here, frankly, is be a stay-at-home mom for several years. And probably half of you are thinking, what? And half of you are like, okay, I understand. <laughs> and and I really think that is an important background to bring to this council because it's it's unfortunate, but the truth is we are losing our families in their 20s, 30s, and 40s at a higher rate than the rest of the state. So one of the other things I've been involved in here is I got very involved in Trinity Site, and I spent a, as a citizen volunteer, and I went and met with a lot of playgroups. I didn't find all of them, but I found a lot of them, and I talked about what Trinity Site was because that's an important issue to them. And I told them about it, but I heard from them a lot about how they felt about the town. And really, in the end, that's why I decided to run, because I think there's a lot of us who feel the same way. We would like to see some progress, but we think all of us need to be included. And unfortunately, I think the families in particular, one, feel like the town's not meeting their needs, but two, they don't care that it's not meeting their needs. And I don't think that's how we all feel. Um, in the end, I believe that this is a great town, and it could be even better, but we do need to take into account all of us as we move forward and as we make these important decisions. Of course, we have to be fiscally responsible about it, and that's the kind of town we are, and absolutely that's what we need to be, but we do need to think of all of us as we move forward. So I hope you vote for me November 6th. Thank you. Let me start off by saying what a great looking bunch. Thanks for all being here today. Thanks for having, letting us talk to you guys today. My name is Mark Clay. I'm a longtime resident of Los Alamos, 30 years, half of it in White Rock, half of it in Los Alamos. Uh, and uh, I have raised a bunch of children here, still am. Uh, I've been uh, head kids in every school in the community. Uh, so I have a real good practical understanding of the issues on a day-to-day -day living kind of a basis. I'm also a veteran through Leadership Los Alamos and Leadership New Mexico of understanding the issues from a management and leadership perspective. Uh, I've been part of that program, Leadership Los Alamos, for eight years uh, and have been working with the staff of that to try to help build leaders of tomorrow, some of which are in this room and are all around the county. So now it's my turn to help. Instead of being behind the scenes and helping to provide leadership opportunities for other people, it's for me to take and do what I practiced. Uh, I've also been a manager of the laboratory for some 10 years, and I'm more than a manager, I'm a leader. So that's something that you'll have in me. It's more than just a person who can manage the county affairs as part of the council, but who can be a leader, who can set vision and, and make those things happen that we always want to do, but don't seem to be able to do in some cases. Uh, so I, I really look forward to your vote on, uh, on November 6th, because that's the kind of person you want. You want a person with a combination of practical experience leadership experience, and also the last thing I'll comment on is uh, I'm a person that does everything from a basis of very strong core values. You'll have a person in me who will base their decisions on, on integrity, on, on trust, and on, on all those things that we hold dear that you would want a person to have as a backbone for what they decide to do, because I'm representing all of you, and that's why I hope you'll vote for me. Thank you very much. And I was humbled and honored four years ago to be elected to the Los Alamos County Council. I'm running for re-election to be a common sense, fiscally conservative voice on the council. I believe that the most important job of an elected official is to look carefully and critically 
at public spending. And I feel that lavish spending on government buildings, such as the municipal building and the Justice Center, has not addressed the most critical need that our community faces, and as a, which is to attract more young families to live here. And as a county councilor, I have a strong record of opposing excessive spending and demanding that we make every dollar of our public money count. My priorities include helping start up uh, technology companies with county financial assistance so that we can create more jobs here in Los Alamos County and expand our research park and the Entrada Business Park. I'm a champion of our public schools, which are the jewel of our community. And I feel that the county has to take a leading role in identifying new revenue sources for our public schools. And that's why, as county councilor, I introduced an ordinance so that our schools would get 100% of the least money uh, from the commercial activity on the Trinity site. I feel that we have to develop the 60-acre A19 parcel in White Rock so that new housing and retail <laughs> options can be created for our citizens through private enterprise. By working together, we can create a county government that listens to its citizens and lives within its means. Thank you very much. Good evening. My name is Stephen Gearins, and I'm running for county council. I have had the privilege of living in this community, this county, specifically White Rock, for 33 years, and now it's my time, my opportunity to stand up and volunteer to serve. I've been touched, influenced by a distinguished cadre of citizens who have served this community and delivered significant accomplishments, all contributing to the idea of no better place than Los Alamos to work, raise a family, be proud of, and most importantly, live. I emphasize service because that's what it's all about. My motto is, don't yak, give back. These past three decades, I have not sat on the sidelines. In the 80s, I served on the Parks and Rec Board. In the 90s, I served on PNZ. During the 2000s, I was elected to the school board. In all cases, I was involved in local government. A precept I was trained growing up, and one that has always been important to me, is living within your means. So living within our means as a county will always be an important consideration for me. My priorities, an advocate for balanced community investments, especially infrastructure revitalization. A proponent of the county's established economic vitality priorities. A supporter of the positive momentum promoting regional relationships and collaborations, and a voice for mutually beneficial collaboration with the schools. I am committed to sustaining the quality of life we enjoy, a safe place to live, quality schools, unique recreational and cultural venues, and a no better place to raise a family. I will be decisive to progress effective government. I will look for and champion practical solutions that responsibly serve to balance our community's expectations.